And welcome back to another Rose Garden Gaming Unboxing. Today we have Bloodstained Curse of the Moon 2 Collector's Edition. It's a lot like the first one, but my camera's actually going to try and work with me this time. And the somewhat grainy image is going to be mostly in focus for, for parts of this. I know, it's weird, isn't it? Well, let's get to it. There we have the gorgeous logo. And the even more gorgeous box art when it finally does load in. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. I love these NES style boxes. They're just amazing. Battle your way into the demonic stronghold. Players take control of Zangetsu, a swordsman from the far east who bears a banana. A deep grudge against demon kind and alchemists who summon them. Sangetsu must battle his way to the demonic stronghold, but he doesn't have to do it alone. And this is the card that came with it. I I got this. This was my first actual limited run games purchase from limited run games themselves. So it's my first card. It's kind of cool looking. Shiny. I don't know who that is. I haven't played the game yet. I gotta say, these cards are pretty nice. A lot of mine have actually come with two to three cards. All right, and now to open the seal. I've cut a little bit in the corner just to make it easier and quicker for the video. But I'm still probably going to screw it up because you know me. And since I got this direct from LRG, there's no crease like the first one that I got from eBay. So I'm going to be very gentle. As the beast sheds its skin, bear witness to its glory. Look, look how amazing that looks. It's like a church window. Alright, time to open it up. Usually, I do the safe method of putting like a a piece of scissor or something in the sides but I kind of was stupid today and I forgot and I'm just jamming my fingers in there like when I was a kid luckily I didn't mess it up all right you can see the game in there these aren't very big these were like 40 to 60 dollars collector's editions it's not bad it's easy on the wallet but it's still something that you can be proud of like hey yeah I got this Alright, there's the PS4 game in its special limited run case. I love these things. I've said it, I'm going to say it every time. The artwork is pretty good. About standard with some of, most of the limited run stuff and the last game. Battle your way into the demonic stronghold again! Sangetsu can ally himself with a brand new cast. Alright. Yeah, it's pretty decent here. And I think after this last uh, focus, I'm not going to have to change it again. I'm going to get a pretty decent angle and a decent focus here. At some point. Oh. Then I have to peel the plastic off of this. So much plastic. I hope it's recycled. I at least recycled it when I was done. Don't believe me? You can't prove it. Alright. Better look at the back of the case without the without the cellophane. This looks great. And a manual. LRG. 
there's one thing limited run games does right with everything is they ha is nine times out of ten they have manuals it is so sad that there are no more manuals and this reverse cover this cover is technically reversible but as you can see it's not much on the other side you have the little sprite work and then that big dragon over there but it's good enough for me Look how cute those little sprites are, man. See important health and safety warnings. Do not look directly at it. Okay, now. We have a better look at the manual than last time. Sangetsu, the protagonist of Crest of the Moon 2. Dominique, a mysterious exorcist affiliated with the church. She has blue boobies. I wonder who laces her into that outfit. Robert, a skilled former soldier. Hachi, a Welsh corgi. <laughs> oh, I need to play this. Miriam, the protagonist of Bloodstain. Alfred. An alchemist. Oh, so that's Alfred. I know who my card is now. And Dracula! I mean, Gebel. That's totally Dracula. But you can't help it, because it's Igarashi. And Igarashi's awesome. Alright, so. I have now reversed the cover. And here's a less obstructed look at the other side. It's not as much of a reverse cover as the last one, but it's still pretty good, you know? I'd say, I'd say you could do good with either side on either side, but I'm kind of a sucker for reverse covers. The only downside to these NES covers here is that you can't fit it in the plastic case cover. It sucks, but you know, you do what you gotta do. I'm pretty sure I'll find one that fits nice. Alright, moving right along, because this is not a very big collector's edition, you have the soundtrack. I haven't heard, I haven't played the game yet, so I don't know what the soundtrack is like, but seeing how Castlevania this game is like, I'm pretty sure the soundtrack is banging. And then we have the poster, which I'm going to show you all in my poster video. After all the ones I've already uploaded, I've already recorded are done. And then I'm going to get a new camera and start recording better. And I'm going to do the audio better too. With the new camera, I'm going to record as I'm unboxing instead of having to record in mute as I've been doing. It'll make my videos a lot better. And you deserve a lot better from me. I promise you that will get better. Alright, so as I'm unwrapping here... You know, I do prefer jewel cases, but... Beggars can't be choosers. As I said, this was a fairly cheap collector's edition. And the and even though a little sleeve of cardboard kind of sucks, you, the artwork is amazing. It's still really nice to look at. It is a pain in the ass to get the discs out, though. Don't want to touch the bottom. Uh, you know, kind of generic looking as far as a disc goes, but it's kind of cool that this soundtrack almost looks like it could be the game disc itself. Alright, so that was the soundtrack. And cool thing, one cool thing about these soundtracks is... You see here, I've got a soundtrack protector. 
This is meant for a jewel case, but once I put it all together, I actually can fit about six or seven of these small cardboard soundtracks into it. So while I currently have no place for them until I can get me a house and move, they are all nicely kept in these protectors. And eventually after I move, I'll get better, I'll get individual protectors made to fit that actual size. But for now, you see me fumbling and sticking the CD in the plastic box, trying to catch me in the plastic. You may have noticed uh, a white a white hair on the plastic protector. I have a big, doofy, beautiful white dog and an annoying white cat that I've actually had to stop and re-record several parts of this because he will randomly walk in, meow, and walk out. I love him to death, but everything is covered in hair. Alright, now I've got the plastic protector for the actual PS4 game. You know, these are... These are fairly cheap. You can get them from Limited Run Games when you purchase your games. But if you if Limited Run Games isn't your thing, you can get these anywhere. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them on eBay. You know, they're not going to stop things from puncturing. You know, it's just plastic. But it'll keep, it'll keep the elements out. It'll increase the chance of, if you spill something, it'll increase the chances of it not ruining what your case and your artwork. And if you have the money, you can actually get acrylic cases that act as a display and a full deterrent to any damage. Now you notice here, I got the game and the N60 and the Nintendo style case to go in, but it bulges out really unsightly like you're about to see. And the lip on the bottom feels like it's going to scratch that beautiful cover. So I, per I personally don't, don't force them in there. I actually took that off and used it for my Shantae that I'm going to get to in a later video. So, this was another unboxing. They're short, they're kind of dumb, but I hope you like it, and I promise I'll be better. I like video games. I like video games. I like video games. And take a bit of